Hello and welcome to Sierra Make. The next couple videos are all going to be things that I made my family for Christmas, starting with these demon angel baby earrings. <laughs> I don't have much to say about them except that they are weird <laughs> and they're one of my stranger ideas. So let's just jump in. So to start off with materials, on the off chance that you want to try and make these angel baby earrings, I use these little plastic babies that you can buy a ton of off Amazon. And I think these are the babies that are used in King Cake uh, for Mardi Gras, but I'm not sure. Next is some earring posts and earring backs. I have two silver ones and two gold ones. I think I'm going to use the silver on one set and the gold on the other set, but I haven't decided yet. I will also be using some super glue and the red Sharpie. I didn't actually end up using the blue Sharpie uh, because I decided the angel baby is just going to look like an angel and not be blue. <laughs> and lastly, the most interesting part of this project is I will be using this 3D pen to try and make it the wings and the devil horns for these earrings. I've only used this pen a few times, but basically it's like a glue gun where you plug it in and it heats up and you put your materials in the top of it and then it extrudes it in the amount, hopefully, that you want. I will be using the white filament to make the angel wings and the red filament to make the devil horns and I will try to link everything down in the description down below, so if you want any of these materials, just check down there. To start off this project, I have plugged in the 3D pin and the filament goes in the top there. But as you can see, I have a yellow light at the top of that pin. And when I press this button right now, I get a red light, which means that the pin isn't fully heated and it can't uh, melt the filament. So I'm going to set this aside and start on coloring in one of the babies. Here I am taking the red sharpie and I'm just drawing all over this plastic baby and I am going to warn you, it looks really creepy. <laughs> it looks like an actual newborn baby, like it's covered in blood or something. And that is because the ink doesn't dry instantly since I'm drawing on plastic. So I'm actually going to have to set these aside so that they can dry and I also ended up getting ink everywhere. So I'm just warning you now, this is a messy project. Now that I have colored in both babies and set them aside, my pin light is green, which means it's good to go. So I'm going to unwrap this white filament here and put it in the top and then press the bottom button, which will pull the filament down through the pin all the way until it extrudes at the bottom. You can see the color that was in this pen before was blue, so I'm just going to keep going until I only get white, and now we can start on the wings. I started off trying to just draw some wings off of the back of this baby, so here I am trying to get a general wing shape, kind of like a triangle-ish look, and I'm pressing it down with my fingers because the pen kind of gives this noodle texture to it and I want it to look a little bit more flat and so I'm just playing with it and pressing it down and this happened <laughs> it came off so you know what I'm just gonna work on it off of the baby that way I have more access to it and I'm just going to add a little bit more and I'll do the second set of wings as well off of the baby just on this mat because that way I can get more of the shape that I was looking for with the first set of wings and I'm just trimming any little excess pieces of plastic that I don't want on it and just a little trick for you here you can change the amount of plastic that's extruded by moving this little tab right here from small to big and now I'll just finish up this last wing okay now that that's done it's time to glue these wings onto the backs of the babies so I'm just going to grab the super glue and put a little drop on the back of the baby and press those wings to their back the more surface area there is connecting the baby and the wing, the better the wing will stay in place. 
So I actually ended up having to add a little bit more extra plastic so that the wing would really press on to the baby's back and there was more surface area there. By this time, my devil babies were dry, so I'm going to put their horns on. But before I did that, I figured I would try and do a little halo with this pin. But I had a lot of trouble just getting a tiny little loop to actually be like circle shaped and not wobbly. Because this pin doesn't do the best with detail. It's more for bigger projects. Um, so I managed to only get one halo out of the thing that like looked decent enough that I wanted to put it on the baby. So I just put it on one of them. Their wings look different anyways. So yeah. Anyways, on to the devil baby horns. To switch out the filament on the pins, I just press that back button and it will push the filament that's in there out so that I can put the new filament in and then press the forward button again and then it will extrude all of that out just like before. We're just going to keep extruding until we get the red color that we want. And now that we have it, I'm just going to put a little dollop on top of the head on each side. Kind of just like a little plop. <laughs> and let me just take a moment to apologize for the very, very poor film quality here. It was too dark in the room and I didn't realize and also the camera was just too far away to catch the tiny little detail that I'm doing on these devil babies. But anyways, now that we're done, it's time to super glue the earring posts to the back of the baby heads. I decided to use the gold for the devils and the silver for the angels because, I don't know, it kind of just seemed like it fit that way. As with gluing on the wings, we have to make sure that there is as much surface area connecting the two pieces as possible. So try and get these posts on the flattest part. And you can see here when I'm putting on the backs of the earrings onto these baby heads that some of them came off because there wasn't enough surface area. So I'm just going to add a little bit more glue and put it back on and really make sure that dries before I'm done. And here we are, the finished demon baby earrings and the angel baby earrings. I mean, if you're the type of person who likes to wear quirky earrings, these are totally for you because they are very, very interesting. <laughs> Because the set of angel babies and the set of demon babies didn't turn out exactly alike, I decided to gift one angel and one demon to each of my sisters. So here they are in the package. Looks like a demon and angel to me. So don't forget to hit that like button if you liked these earrings. Comment down below if you thought this was a cute idea. And please subscribe because I post every Friday at 3. Thank you for watching. Ha 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 ha!